Hi, this is episode 15 of Krondos. I'm your host, Jordan Hudgens. I'm a Ruby dev and the CTO of the DevCamp platform. It's the end of the week, which means that it's Freelancer Friday. And on Fridays, I like to cover various topics related to building out your freelance development business. Over the years, I've worked on projects large and small, from applications that took a couple days to completely build out and were done, all the way until I built large applications that took over a year of development and included managing a team of outsourced developers. And that's what I want to talk about today. Whenever I've had large projects where I had to bring on additional resources, meaning additional outside developers to help me build out an application, it presented a number of challenges. Some of the key ones are, is the developer I'm bringing on specialized in whatever it is that I'm trying to build. So in other words, do I have a front-end designer who I'm asking to build a back-end RESTful service? So what's the best way to work with outsourced development teams? Whenever I've had a project that was large and I had to bring on outside developers to help me build it out, there are a number of challenges that come around. First one is probably, is the right developer there that is going to help me for this specific feature? For example, there's been times where I had a developer who specialized in front-end design, and I was in a pinch, had to bring him in, and asked him to work on a back-end service. That didn't work out too well, because I was asking him to do something that he didn't really know what to do or how to do it, so he was learning on the job, and it wasn't fair to put him in that position. You also have to worry about things like, is the amount I'm having to pay this outsourced developer, is this going to be covered by the amount I can still charge the client? There's a number of different things related to that to make sure that your project is able to stay on budget. I would love to say that I have this down to a science, but that would be a lie. The main thing that gave me the idea to write this post and create this video is actually based off of the number of failures that I've had and the things I learned from those experiences. Based on my mixed experiences in working with outsourced developers, I put together this system that will hopefully help you walk step by step in how to pick out the right developer, how to work with them, how to get reports in regularly, and how to, at the end of the day, create an application the client loves. As a first step, whether you're working by yourself or with outsourced developers, it's vital that you use automated testing. This can include behavior-driven development or unit testing. However, this process will help to ensure that all of the features of an application are working and also that new features do not break pre-existing functionality. Next, depending on the situation you have with your clients, it's important that you receive daily reports on the development work performed for that day. If you're not getting good daily reports, there's a good chance that no work was actually performed. Lastly, if you happen to only be managing the application and not actually developing, make sure that you have proper access. This includes command line database access, your public keys on the server that the application is being deployed on, and any air logging systems, such as Honey Badger or AppSignal. If you're bringing on an outsourced development team, there's a good chance that your time is very limited. However, if you follow these three steps, they're gonna put you in the best chance possible to be successful at your project and managing your team. Some of the tools I like to use in managing teams are Basecamp or Trello for project management, AppSignal and HoneyBadger for automated air reporting, CodeShip for continuous deployment, and FreshBooks for managing hours and making sure everything stays on budget. I hope this video has given you some good strategies on how to work with an outsourced development team, how you can manage the entire process from the start of the project all the way until delivering the code to the client.